What's going on, YouTube? Hope everyone's doing all right, man. I uh, figured I'd make a quick video for y'all. I know it's been a while. Um, been kind of busy. Uh, just uh, moved down to Florida. Um, so, obviously, that's going to take up a lot of my time between packing and moving. Um, for those that don't know, I was living in the Philadelphia area. Um, and I uh, moved down to Florida in October. So, probably the biggest reason I haven't put out any videos. Um, I just really haven't had the time to do anything on the car. Um, I was going to make a video about the uh, auto train. Um, because that was my plan. I was going to put the car on the auto train. It's an Amtrak train. Um, it goes from Lorton, Virginia down to uh, Sanford, uh, Florida, uh, which is just north of Orlando, for those that don't know. But uh, it's a 16-hour train ride. Uh, it's a couple hundred bucks to put your car on the train, um, but you don't have to drive it. Um, I ended up driving a thousand miles from Philadelphia um, down to Florida. So it's a long ride, man. Um, but unfortunately, uh, there's clearance uh, requirements, and my car was a little bit too low. Um, so I actually couldn't take the train. Uh, I had to uh, drive the car down. So I drove it a thousand miles, and uh, it did pretty well, um, all in all. Um, I did have some issues with the belt falling off uh, at higher RPMs. So I'd hit about like 4,000 RPM, and then the belt would fall off. Um, that was kind of annoying. Um, you guys can go back and look at my older videos, but um, I had a different alternator bracket. I actually had a turnbuckle. Um, it was still made by ICT Billet. Um, but my theory was that when the cam kicked in at higher RPMs and really started making power, um, I think there was a lot of slack in this run between the alternator and the crank pulley. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I think there was some slack building up and then the belt would jump off the uh, the pulleys so it's kind of unfortunate um, but I put on a new uh, automatic tensioner instead of the manual one the manual turnbuckle um, also an IC ICT billet product um, try and get you guys in there to see it you can see it right there there's a turnbuckle so we'll see we'll see how it does um, see the pulley alignment there but in any case guys um, that was one thing I had to deal with um, so hopefully I got that resolved um, another issue I had to deal with recently was uh, my radiator uh, actually cracked so <clears throat> this is the upper connection on the BMW radiator uh, this radiator was 27 years old or 28 years old something like that to 95 so I don't know what is that 27 years old maybe um, but you can see it cracked at the upper radiator hose and then this uh, like return cracked also and then you can see that's the lower connection so I replaced it um, got a new one I forget who makes it I think Nessex or Nessin or something I can't remember the brand but oh uh, you can see it in here I just cranked it up and everything looks okay for now but you know how these things are man there's always something to do um but anyway I just wanted to give you all a quick update on what the car has been up to and, and what I've been up to probably and um that's about it guys uh, I think that's really all I got for you right now um I've been slowly putting the car back together on the interior. Uh, it's kind of coming along. That's where I mounted my Terminator X setup. Hop in here for you guys. <clears throat> so, you can see it right there. Kick on. So I was just running the car, so it's a little warm. But uh, you guys can see the shifter I got right here. I'm gonna put that back in, um, put the surround back in rather. And then um, my gauges don't really work. My fuel gauge works and my coolant temp gauge works, but the speedo and tack and the MPG gauge don't work. Um, 
I saw a guy online said just hook it up to uh, uh, 12 volts power to fuse 17 and that'll get your speedo working. So I might try that. I'm not going to try it today, but we'll see. Uh, if I could get that working, that would be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys right now. Uh, let's see. Give you a shot of the interior there. Start it up. You can watch the automatic tensioner when I mess with the throttle. Well, hopefully you guys saw that in the video. You saw the automatic tensioner pick up slack when uh, the RPMs picked up. So hopefully uh, that'll get me squared away. Um, I still need to add air conditioning and add heat. Um, so that's something I gotta work on. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.